One of the things that's really interesting about movies, that's really mysterious, is that, you know, if you go to a movie, there's almost always a soundtrack. Right? If you go to a movie and there isn't a soundtrack, it, it kind of feels empty. It feels like there's something missing. And, you know, it's as if the music, you know, when you go to a movie, there's lots of things you can't see. The characters are only partial, and you don't know anything about their background. So it's, it's like a low resolution thing. And what seems to happen with the music is that it provides the emotional background, the complex context, let's say. It's like a, a substitute for the context, and it, it guides you in, in your in your perceptions of the movie, it gives you hints about what's going to happen and, and, and the funny thing about that is, is that we just, we just don't have any problem with that you know, it's like, yeah, of course movie has a soundtrack and, and of course when there's a dramatic scene, the music gets dramatic and, but that doesn't happen in real life, so you'd wonder why we would accept it in a movie and I think it's partly because we're willing to accept the amplification of reality that constitutes a movie and, in fact, we find that compelling, and music is one of the things that does that amplification, the dramatization, and that's, that's acceptable to us.